James Robinson here and I have another three part course vlog for you today. It's a treat as well, I'm coming to you from Desert Springs Golf Club in Almeria or Almeria or potato or potato or however you want to say it anyway. Um, so three part course vlog, it's an outstanding golf course here. It's the only desert course in Europe I'm being told. Uh, comment below if you think there is another one but that's what I've been told anyway. You can see how we've got all the big cacti and things like that and I've also got my mate here I'm gonna call her Ellie Ellie the elephant no other reason why but it just goes doesn't it Ellie the elephant okay so I'm gonna make use of these great facilities first as well we've got the chipping green we've got another dedicated putting green and we've got the range over there so let's have a quick warm-up then get straight out on the golf course we're full-on holiday mode today if you haven't noticed, I've got the Masters shirt on, I've got the shorts on, the milk bottles are out. Let's get to it. the first tee and they have the moment or they had last year European Tour qualifying school here and the guys absolutely tear it apart to be fair and the guys on the Euro Pro Tour did as well I'm gonna go off the back tees today <laughs> and as you know if you've been watching my vlogs distance isn't something that I'm amazingly good at I'm fairly straight but I don't hit it a very long way so I might find it a bit of a challenge today here I want to play it off the back tees, just like if you've seen the vlog from Victoria Club, which is also a European Tour golf course. If you've not seen it, go and check it out, that should be live now, unless I've had a nightmare with my MacBook. <laughs> um, so go check that out. I like to play from the back tees for you, so you can get a full view of what the course is like. Par 5 starter, let's get to it. Take that just down the left side. It's gonna be a long way in though. Just as I thought guys, we've got a long way in <coughs> and there's a waist area just short. So I'm just gonna play it up there and try and leave myself a wedge in if I can. Perfect. So I said perfect, it turns out we're maybe 15 yards away from someone's garden. So, not so perfect, but we're still in play and there's a chance for a birdie. Let's see what we can do. Emperor's Palace up on the right there, if you can see it. Ideally, we'll not go over his wall. Just try and get one middle of the green, I think. Oh, 
Oh, it's pink left. It might still be all right though. I'm lucky enough to know quite a few members here already. And a lot of the talk here amongst the members is the weather. It's quarter past eight in the morning here and it's, it must be 15, 16 degrees, absolutely glorious and not a breath of wind. A lot of people say this area, Almanzora, gets the best weather in Europe and to be honest, on today, it's hard to disagree with them. Let's crack on, this is another par five. I think we've got about 200 meters, guys. We've got to go for it, haven't we? guys and we're under par. Okay that's a nice start, one under through three uh, and before I teed off you saw Ellie the elephant and now we've got Harry the horse and Hilda the horse. So there's a quite an animal theme here at Desert Springs which I quite like, it does bring a little bit to the eye which you can look at other than the golf and obviously these stunning views. So I've got away with another drive there, I'm really not far away from, as you can see, these waste areas here. Now these waste areas, exactly how I'm describing them, they're not bunkers. There's loads of rocks in there, some of them you can't move, and it does become very difficult and it can make a little bit of a mess of your clubs. If you do come here, I highly recommend you maybe bring an old demo club, something just to chip it out with. I've got away with another one there, but if I keep driving it like I am doing, it's going to catch me out at some point. The locals here call them Barancas or Barancas. I don't know if I'm thinking of Veruca or Verucas. I thought a Barranca was something you call someone you didn't like, but anyway, let's go. On. I've got 165 yards, let's see if I can get one on the green. It's a Barranca. my videos from Val de Lobo and Victoria Club at Portugal you'll see how well I've driven the ball with this old driver I, I want to keep the hashtag going old faithful that's another fairway hit <laughs> 65 yards and there's not a lot of green to work with either Let's see what we can conjure up left you know but I'll take that, that's another birdie opportunity. Right guys, so this is the sixth hole, so this is going to be the last hole on this part one. Make sure to tune in on part two. But don't leave us just yet, we've got another short par four. And 
You just can't hit driver on this one. You've got to play an iron up there at the left hand side and then play over with a wedge. I have hit driver on here before and gone in the um, Baranka, as we're now calling them, because we're going to be more PC about it. Because that's what my mum would like. Anyway, let's see if I can make something. Nice thing on that left hand side, so let's see if that's put me in the right position to play the wedge over, like I said. You can see here a little bit more luck than judgment. Um, if I would have been half a yard further left, or half a yard further, I'm in the sand. So actually, that's a terrible tee shot from me. It's a wrong club, it should have been one less, but we've got away with it. Let's see if we can counter that. So that's a par guys, end of part one. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Yeah, so all the blood's rushing to my head, so I'm gonna get up. <laughs> so like I was saying there guys, thank you very much for watching. This is the end of part one. Currently one under par through six. And I tell you what guys, the greens here run so true and so pure. If you get the chance to come and play here, come and play. It's a fantastic golf course. Stay tuned to part two.